goodness, I wonder what made that very dangerous sound. Can you guess what made that sound? Yes, it was a bear. This week we are learning all about bears. Here are your phonics words, grade twos. This week we are continuing with our bodyguard E words. This week the bodyguard E is going to have the baby sound R say its teenager sound O. On the next slides you will see that I've put a star on the row or column I want you to read. Remember to pause. Now it's time for you to write each word out five times. Remember, great dudes, that writing a word out is a way of practicing how to spell them. Welcome to your new Sight Weeks lesson, great dudes. Today we have an interesting... I need the bathroom now! Oh no, Ducky! You can't just shout out like that, and that was very rude. It was missing a golden word. I wonder what it could be. It's on the board. Really? Yes, please. Try it again. Please, may I go to the bathroom? Of course you may. That was so polite. Our sight word for today is please. P-L-E-A-S-E, -E, please. Say it with ease. Before you can read your comprehension, you need to understand the words that you are reading. So I've put the more difficult words up on the board for you. We are going to go through them and discuss them so that when you read your comprehension, then you understand what you are reading and it's a lot easier to read the more difficult words. Let's start by reading the words row by row. Let's start with row 4. Let's read row 4 backwards. Fruits, trees, roots. Let's read row 3. Zoos, seeds, grizzly. Let's read row two. Beasts, four, black. Let's read row one backwards. Thick, found, bears. Let's start with the word bears. This week our comprehension is about bears. And I've put some pictures up for you to see the different types of bears that we get. a small word. Can you see it too? I see the small word B. But not a B like the one that I've painted on my wall. This B I will use in a sentence like this. I should be at school by seven o'clock. But there's another small word. Can you see it? The small word is ear. I use my ear to listen. But there's an S, a S at the end. If I add this, I have two ears. Our next word, found. Found is the past tense of find. It means it already happened. So I've already found my missing toy. What would the opposite of found be? The opposite of found would be lost. If I found my toy yesterday, the opposite would be I lost my toy yesterday. Our next word is thick. Thick has an opposite. Can you tell me what the opposite is? The opposite of thick is thin. The tree can have a thick stem or a thin stem. Our next word is beasts. Beasts is a word we use to talk about wild animals. A bear is a beast. And there's a, at the 
the end because that means there are more than one beast. I can spot two small birds in this group. Can you see them too? I can see the small bird B. Just like we found in bears. And I can see the small word east. East is a direction. Four. This four is a homophone. Remember homophones sound the same, but they have two different meanings and they are spelled differently. This four is the number four, like in maths. But the homophone would be four, like this. I will buy gifts for my mother. I can spot a small word in the word four. Can you see it? The small word is our. Our school keeps us safe. The next word is black. Black is a color and some bears are black. Look at this bear, his fur is black. Our next word is zoos. Now many places love keeping animals in zoos because then tourists, people can come and look at the bears in the zoos. But it is very sad because the poor bears don't have space like they do in the wild. So they don't have place to run and they don't go hunting and they can't climb trees. It's very sad when bears live in zoos because they don't have the freedom that they need. Our next word is feeds. This bear has caught a fish. We can say bears like to feed on fish. So this bear feeds on fish. That's how we would use this word. This bear feeds on fish. It means that the bear eats fish. Our next word is grizzly. Grizzly is a describing word, an adjective. And we use this adjective to describe bears. It means that they are fuzzy and furry, but also vicious. Grizzly bears. Our next word is roots. Bears love munching on roots from trees. It has many good minerals and vitamins for them. Roots. Our next word is trees. Bears love climbing trees. You will often find bears in trees and they can also climb very high. If I take this away at the end of trees, I have tree. That means there's only one tree. But when I put the S at the end, it means there are many trees. It's the plural. And our last word is fruits. Bears don't only eat fish. They also eat different kinds of fruits. It's very healthy for them. Remember, grade twos, that homophones are words that sound the same, but they have two different meanings and they are spelt differently. I have the homophone name and main. They sound the same, but you can see that I spelled them differently. And I'll tell you now that they have two different meanings. If we look at this main, I would use it in a sentence like this. There are four main types of bears. And if you look at this main, I'm talking about the main that a lion has. It's the long fur around its face. So you see that the homophone main sounds the same, but I spell it differently and it has two different meanings. Our next homophone is pain and pain. They sound the same, but they have two different meanings and you can see that they are spelled differently. This pain is when something really hurts. Look at this sad face. This pain talks about the outer part of the window. Some window panes have a steel frame, so the homophone pane and pane sound the same, but they have different meanings and they are spelled differently. Let's do some opposites. Grade twos, 
remember that opposites are words that mean something completely different. I'm going to flash a word to you. I want you to read the word and then think what the opposite would be. Your first word is largest. Can you tell me what the opposite would be of largest? The opposite of largest would be smallest. Your next opposite is thick. If something is thick, what would the opposite be? The opposite of thick is thin. The last opposite is long. If the ruler is long, what would the opposite be? The opposite of long is short. Our comprehension this week is about bears. I'm going to read the comprehension for you, but please read along. Let's start by reading the title. Bears. Bears are big beasts. They have thick, warm fur. They can be found in the wild. They can also be found in zoos. There are four main types of bears. The big brown bear, the grizzly bear, the polar bear, and the American black bear. The Alaskan brown bear is very big. He is the largest bear. He can grow up to three meters long. He feeds on fish. Sometimes he eats roots, berries, fruits, eggs, and insects. He has a bulky body and a stubby tail. He can run up to 50 kilometers an hour. He can also climb trees. Bears live in different kinds of habitats, including open plains and dense forests. As you know, this week is all about bears. I want you to go and watch Mrs. Lotz's life skills video to get more interesting facts about bears. See you tomorrow.